Okay, so here is how to install your professional team or your elegant team, your choice team, into WordPress. So basically, all you need to do is log in into your WordPress. Now, I use this one just as an example, so I'm going to delete this after. But, you know, obviously, you will have the team, if you have our own SEO teams that we give in the starter pack, then we'll, we'll sort it now. Okay, so basically, I'm already logged in, so all I need to do is to go to my dashboard. And the dashboard, we go to opponents and the teams. Okay, now we're going to open the zip file I just sent you, we're going to set install teams, we're going to click upload, choose file, so you're going to look for the team that you, of your choice, there it is, and basically you just pick the team, so the team itself, you, so basically what you have is, the team that you, sh of your choice will be the name of the folder, and then all the other four is just plugins, okay, so we're going to select the team, Click open. And install now. Okay, we can do, do a live preview. And as you can see right now, the team looks all out of place. So we're going to save and activate. So another thing I'm going to do now is just going to go back. I can go to customize the team here. And I'm just going to make sure. My blog, WordPress is fine, and that's fine. Okay, so close. Okay, the next step is to install uh, the ePanel. So the ePanel is pre-configured for the team of your choice, and you find the ePanel under the the team name. So basically, will be your team name, team options. Okay, so always be team options in the team name. So we click there, and then you get this ePanel. Now you may don't get the ePanel once you install the team for the first time. But if you do get it, you still have to complete this step, okay? Because, like I said, the ePanel is pre-configured for, for each team that you get. And to make sure everything is working properly, the next step is you go to Tools. Under Tools, you go to Import. And then we're going to install the WordPress Importer. So basically, click on WordPress. And then you get this page, okay? This is okay. It's safe to install because it's provided by WordPress itself. So click Install Now. And activate the plugin. Okay, now once you get here, the next step we're gonna go to the to your computer. So you click choose file, and you're gonna find the folder where you save the plugin. So in this case, desktop. There it is. And now what we're gonna do? We're gonna extract, unzip this folder. So right click, and extract all. Okay, click Extract. And basically, if you leave it where it is, it will save it inside the same folder where did you initially save the plugin. And you go a window like this, will pop up, you can close that. And now we're going to go inside of the, the team itself. We're going to double click, double click again. And we're going to go to Sample Data, double click on that. And we select this one, and we click Open. Okay. Upload file and import. Now tick replace the ePanel settings with the sample data values. Okay. Now assign the post to existing. There's nothing to assign because there is no post. So we're not exporting a blog. We're just exporting a, the ePanel. And click submit. And there it goes. Now uh, this one is saying fail because obviously the ePanel is right. But if if the ePanel was okay, then it's still saying. Well then, have fun. So once you get this, so now your ePanel is ready for use. Now if you go back to Appearance and then just go back to the team options again, so you can see the ePanel still there. Now, in the next video, we'll gonna cover a bit more about the ePanel and how to customize and use your team. I'm Zenuns, thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.